ساتو ای پسرو وینو داد شهیدانو کور داد باتورانو کور داد باتورانو کور داد باتورانو کور داد باتورانو کور ساتو ای پسرو وینو داد شهیدانو کور داد Assalamu alaikum, welcome to the Cyber News with me, I'm Arian. Mawlai Zabihla Mujahid, spokesman of the Islamic Emirate, says that new appointments have been made in the government department based on the decree of Amir al-Munin Havazahullah. According to the spokesman of the Islamic Emirate, Mullah Abdul Hadi Yaqub, former director of the public works in the Kandahar province, as deputy energy minister of the Ministry of Energy and Water. Mawlai Abdul Samad Javad, former governor of Balghis province, as the governor of Ghazni province. Mohamed Minjan Omari, former governor of Ghazni province, as the governor of Badghis province. Mullah Natiblah Ayyub, former commander of the 4th Infantry Brigade of the 205th Al-Badr Army, as the deputy governor of Herat province. Mullah Natiblah Zubair, former chief of staff of the 205th Al-Badr Army Corps, as the chief of staff of the 215th Al-Azm Army Corps. Mullah Abdul Aziz Ansari, former chief of staff of the 215th Al-Azm Army Corps, as the chief of staff of the 209th Al-Fatih Army Corps. Sheikh Nasib Al-Azizi, the former head of the 209th Al-Fatih Corps, as the head of the 205th Al-Badr Corps. Mawlai Barhanadin, as commander of the 4th Infantry Brigade of the 205th Al-Badr Corps. And Mawlai Aziz Rahman, former deputy director of the General Operations of the Ministry of Interior Affairs, appointed as director of the Public Works in Kandahar Province. Ali bin Abdullah Al-Zadjali, deputy chairman of the Energy and Mining Committee of the Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry, met with Hafez Omar, ambassador of Islamic Emirate to that country. Mr. al Jali expressed his interest in the investing in Afghanistan's mines and visiting the country and requested more information in this regard. At the same time, Mr. Hafez Omar provided comprehensive information on the opportunities available to foreign investors in Afghanistan, especially in the mining sector, and assured full cooperation. Fazal Mahmoud Sabir, charge of the Afghan embassy in Turkmenistan, met with the director of the Russian Railways Industrial and Machinery Company and discussed the management of Afghan railways. In this meeting, the director of the Russian Railways Industrial and Machinery Company expressed his readiness to invest in the technical supply and management sector of railways in Afghanistan. Dr. Abdul Bari Umar, CEO of the electricity company, met with the delegations of the energy sectors of Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Pakistan during his visit to Turkey. According to the Electricity Directorate, in this meeting, while discussing electricity, discussions were held on electricity transmission and comprehensive cooperation between these countries. Officials of the Industrialist Union say that domestic shoes production currently meets 60% of the citizens' needs. At the same time, a number of citizens, in addition to the supporting domestic production, are asking people to use domestic products and instead of the foreign ones. On the other hand, the Ministry of Industry and Commerce has emphasized the growth of industry and a short support for factory owners in the country. Officials of the Industrialist Union say that the nationwide peace and security in the country has made a number of investors interested in investing more in the country. According to officials, currently, shoes production factories in the country directly and indirectly provide work for a number of citizens and shoes produced in these factories meet 60% of the needs of the domestic market. Millions of dollars have been invested in Herat, Mazar Sharif, Kandahar, Jalalabad and Kabul in factories. Also, handicrafts, where hundreds of factories operate in each province, are very important and we can meet almost 60% of Afghanistan's needs. A number of shoes makers are optimistic about the activities of shoes production factories in the country and say that this has provided them with work opportunities. The ground has been prepared. I am responsible of my own house and we are all here. We work, mashallah, there are many people here. We are happy that we have been provided with employment opportunities here and we ask the government to support our businessmen to invest in Afghanistan and provide such employment opportunities for our youth. A number of shoe sellers say that although shoes are imported from foreign countries in large quantities, the quality of domestic shoes is better and they ask people to use domestic products to support them. We make these shoes for our customers. We even give a warranty, which means if you find any problem for six months or one year, 
we are at your service. They are excellent in terms of quality compared to the Chinese shoes. Chinese shoes are cheap, but not of good quality. For example, they last for a month or two or three months, while domestic shoes last for two or three years. On the other hand, officials in the Ministry of Industry and Commerce assured the Islamic Emirate of its commitment to the growth of industry and factory owners in the country. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce supports traders and investors in all sectors and has always announced its full support in the industrial sector so that domestic manufacturing factories can grow. Regarding the shoes industry and all industries, we must remind them to pay more attention to the quality of their industry than the domestic needs so that they can capture the domestic market. It's worth mentioning that the Islamic Emirate has emphasized supporting domestic products in every sector and has similarly asked industrialists and manufacturers to offer their products to the market with better standards and quality. The second export center of the northern zone of the country was opened at a Shirkhan port customs in the Kunduz province. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce says that the purpose of establishing this center is to simplify the process of exporting documents and expedite export-related matters. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has announced a 1.5 million donation for China to provide health and sanitation services to children and families in areas affected by natural disaster and outbreak of diarrhea in Afghanistan. The money will be used to provide water purification tablets and hygiene kits for more than 28,000 families, the agency said. A number of Kabul citizens have complained about the lack of regular transportation system and are asking officials to activate the national city bus system in all areas of the city. On the other hand, officials of the state-owned national, national bus company say that this department is trying to activate all the city buses and currently 220 buses are active in, in this city. A number of Kabul residents have complained about the lack of regular transportation system and say during the autumn and winter seasons, people have more problems traveling from one area to another. Nasratullah and Abdul Sabur, two residents of the capital, are waiting at the Afghanan bus station to go home. But they say that the shortage of city buses, especially national buses, has caused them problems. You can practically see the crowd of people. We request the officials of the national bus company to address the problems of the people during the evening because the people are suffering a lot and the drivers are taking advantage of the lack of vehicles and the crowd of passengers and are charging 30 and more Afghanis for the fare of 20, which is injustice. There are a lot of problems, especially when the employees and shopkeepers come from a job. There is a lot of crowding. We are asking the government to make things easier for the people. Meanwhile, officials of the National Bus Company say that during the past three years, they have reactivated 220 of the 186 inactive city buses which are currently operating in the capital. Emirati National Bus Company currently has 186 buses, of which 220 are active and serving the people. Our repairing process is ongoing, and we are preparing to expand our services to our fellow citizens. This is why all citizens currently do not have access to national bus services, not only in Kabul, but also in other provinces of the country. The reconstruction of the National Archive has begun at a cost of more than 4 million Afghanis from the de development budget of the Ministry of Information and Culture. Moulay Atiqaladizi, Deputy of Culture and Arts of the Ministry, says that with the completion of this project, historical documents and repositories will be preserved in the basement of the National Archives. The Martyrs Here and Disabled Care Center, in coordination with the HRD, Charity Organization distributed food items, including flour, rice, oil, and other food items to 154 technical and vocational education students in a transparent manner. At the same time, eight students were also given 7,000 Afghanis as two-month transportation fare. The Department of Martyrs and Disabled Affairs of Nagarhar Province, in coordination with the charity organizations, distributed winter aid packages to 800 orphans, widows, disabled people, and needy families. In this program, the director of the Martyrs and Disabled Affairs of the Nagarhar province called on other relief organizations to provide more assistance to needy people in this province. This was our tonight's news package. Thank you for watching.
Satu ipas ruinu, dada shahidanukur, dada batu ranukur, dada batu ranukur, satu ipas ruinu, dada shahidanukur, dada batu ranukur, dada batu ranukur, satu ipas ruinu, dada shahidanukur, dada batu ran